In today's video, I'm gonna give you my picks for the five best neighborhoods in Atlanta, Georgia in 2023, and that's coming up right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to Living in Atlanta. This YouTube channel is all about helping you get to know what it's like to live in and around the Atlanta area. My name is Mark Brenner. I'm a local realtor in the Atlanta area. And today we're gonna be talking about the best neighborhoods in Atlanta, Georgia, according to me. Okay, I'll just get this out of the way real quick. This is not an official list. This wasn't written by the New York Times. This is my opinion. It is arbitrary, but I've lived here for 15 years and I've seen how the city has developed. And for me right now, each of these neighborhoods that I'm gonna talk about is special in its own way. It has a unique value proposition. And if you are looking for a neighborhood to live in in the Atlanta area, I think you should take a look at these neighborhoods. So let's jump right into my top five Atlanta neighborhoods in 2023. Hey, real quick, before I get into this list, as of this recording, I've helped over 50 people who have reached out through YouTube buy or sell a home in the Atlanta area and I absolutely love it if you're relocating here from another state if you're in state looking for a new neighborhood looking to buy for the first time or looking to sell whatever your real estate needs in the Atlanta area are we have got you covered I have a bunch of five-star reviews on Google and we have systems in place specifically to help people who are coming here from other states. So if you have any real estate needs in the Atlanta area whatsoever, I would love to hear from you. I love when my viewers become clients. You can use the contact information in the description below to reach out however you'd like. All right, so coming in at number five of my list of the five best Atlanta neighborhoods in 2023, I have Avondale Estates. Now, this is on the east side of town. And this might be a surprise for someone familiar with the area because Avondale Estates is a very established, historic, very wealthy area in the Atlanta area. And real quick, a quick note on Atlanta neighborhoods. These are not all technically in the city of Atlanta. If I only talked about neighborhoods that are technically in the city of Atlanta, uh, there would not be a lot of diversity in my video topics. So for practical purposes, living in Atlanta, we use the perimeter of 285. So some of these neighborhoods may be in DeKalb County, but all of these neighborhoods are going to be inside the perimeter. And for practical purposes, they're gonna be in town. So I do use the word Atlanta pretty liberally. Now, Avondale States is on the east side of town, just at the perimeter perimeter to the east of 285. And although it's an established wealthy area, there's a lot of developments going on in this part of town. Currently you have Town Green being developed, which is a pretty big mixed use development, which is adjacent to an already very quaint, uh, kind of historic little downtown area with uh, a lot of German influences, really beautiful architecture, you know, a very quaint movie theater, old school, just a beautiful setting. This is a beautiful part of town. There's the Avondale Estates Lake, a great fireworks show every 4th of July. When I lived on this side of town, I loved being close to the DeKalb Farmer's Market, one of the best farmer's markets in the city. You're also gonna be extremely close to downtown Decatur, which has a ton of fabulous things to do, so many high-end restaurants and bars. So pretty Pretty much any time I make a best of in town video, I'm either gonna be talking about City of Decatur, Avondale Estates, or Scottsdale, which is one of my favorites because it's a little lesser known, a little bit more affordable. But because of Town Green and the developments going on in Avondale Estates, and because of some of the beautiful historic architecture there, a really tight knit community, and a very easy commute, not only in town towards downtown, uh, but to the airport, probably about 20 minutes. For all of those reasons, I have Avondale Estates at number five on my list. Now, although it's a pretty expensive area, if you're looking for a detached single family home, you're probably going to need a budget at the bare minimum in the high $400,000 range. And that is maybe going to be move-in ready, probably needing some work. If you are willing to live in something attached like a condo or townhome, you can still get in this general area in the high $200,000 range. But either way, Avondale Estates is a great part of town, great place to live, close to plenty of things to do, and almost has this kind of great suburban vibe, but still is very much in town. And for those reasons, it's number five on my list of the best neighborhoods in Atlanta. All right, coming in at number four, I have Grant Park. Now, full disclosure, 
I'm a little biased. I have lived in or around Grant Park almost the entire time that I've lived in Atlanta, about 15 years. Uh, the first place my wife and I moved to was a uh, 500 square foot apartment right on Cherokee and Grant Park. So I am very partial to this part of town, but it is special. First of all, Grant Park is my favorite park in the city. Love Piedmont Park, but Grant Park is a little bit more quiet, you know, less people there, easy to get away and have some privacy. There are so many more trees trees than Piedmont Park. It's uh, filled with these gorgeous trees throughout it, so you can really kind of feel isolated as you walk through the park. Great for a picnic or relaxing. In the summertime, there'll be people doing family reunions, so I really do love Grant Park itself. There's now a parking deck and a restaurant, which is very exciting. There is beautiful architecture in this area. Um, some of the highest concentration of Victorian-style homes other than Inman Park. Beautiful bungalows and historic craftsmen, well over a hundred years old, heart pine floors, stained glass windows, 12 foot plus high ceilings, just really beautiful homes with a lot of character that you don't see out in the suburbs are found in the Grant Park area. You're extremely close to downtown and every year there is more and more things to walk to. Grant Park has a fantastic farmer's market. There's the Beacon in People's Town. There is the Georgia Retail District in Summerhill off Georgia Ave. There is Oakland Cemetery, which sounds morbid, but it is a beautiful setting uh, to go for a picnic or a walk. And of course, there are some great restaurants in Grant Park like Talat Market. Um, but if you want to do a fancy date night, I mean, you're close to everything. You're 10 minutes to Inman Park. You know, you're 10 to 15 minutes to Midtown. You're 15 to 20 minutes to Buckhead. You're only about 15 minutes to the airport. So you're very centrally located. You're not far away from anything. It's a beautiful setting with incredible architecture. My favorite park in the city. It is a more expensive area, especially as you get closer to the park and there's really not as many attached options so if you're looking at a single family home uh, you're going to be starting in the high four hundred thousand dollar range for a two bedroom home uh, i've seen plenty of really cute homes you know two twos historic homes historic bungalows but those start in the high four hundred thousand dollar range right now and of course that can go way up if you're right on cherokee facing the park you know you're going to be looking at uh, you know, $800,000 plus homes, million dollar homes. So not a cheap area, but if budget is not a much of a concern and you just want to be in a great in-town location that is uh, safe, community oriented, plenty of things to do, it really feels set back to me. You know, you're very much in the city, but it's just a little bit set back from the madness in Grant Park. So this is one of my favorite neighborhoods in the whole city. I am a little biased admittedly, but if you want to be in town, if you want a home with great character, if you want a beautiful park and plenty of things to do, Grant Park has to be on your list. All right, coming in at number three, I have the West End. Now, not too many YouTubers are gonna highlight the West End and not too many websites are gonna highlight the West End if you just do a simple Google search. Some people might even tell you it's a very dangerous area, but I think West End has a bright future and it's one of the most intelligent places you could own real estate currently. One of the big things it has going for it is the proximity to the Beltline. I've done an entire video about the Beltline. I'm not going to get in too much into it. Uh, suffice it to say the Beltline is probably the best and most popular amenity to be added to Atlanta in the last 30 years. It's a former 27 mile railway corridor that has been paved over and it's a system of uh, walking, biking, trails. You can scooter down it, but it's really connected the city in ways it has not been connected before. We are a sprawled out city, so we now have a Beltline in town where you can get from neighborhoods like, you know, Inman Park, heading south all the way down up and around to the west side. And, you know, although it's very built up on the east side in Inman Park and you have million dollar homes because there's so many amenities over there, on the west end, some of these amenities are just starting to pop up, particularly places like the Lee and White development, which is right off the Beltline. So you can be walking, jogging down the Beltline, hop off. You have block after block of old warehouses that have been converted into a series of restaurants, 
breweries, distilleries, all kinds of retail shops, and you could really see the vision for the future here. The Beltline in part has made this an extremely desirable place for businesses to set up shop. It's having an impact on the real estate here, and there's lots of other development in the West End in the works. The West End Mall at some point is gonna be completely redeveloped and is gonna be a real plus for the community. And of course, just geographically, the proximity to so many desirable things is right there. You're close to Georgia Tech, you're close to Atlantic Station, downtown Atlanta. You know, this is very much an in-town location. So if you need to be in town, if you enjoy the Beltline, if you enjoy an up-and-coming neighborhood, maybe your budget is a little bit lower, I would seriously look at the West End. In fact, if you're just thinking purely based on appreciation, it's hard to think of anywhere in the Atlanta area that is going to appreciate more sharply than the West End. I'm telling you, if you've been to Inman Park on the east side right off the Beltline, you can see in 10, 15, 20 years, the West End, Mosley Park, Ashview Heights, even Oakland City, all these neighborhoods around the West Side Beltline Trail are gonna go through the roof. Now, hopefully that is done in a responsible way where developers are required to have a percentage for affordable housing. Otherwise, a lot of people are gonna be displaced and put out of their homes. So, you know, Mayor Dickens, we're looking at you. The development has to be done responsibly, but I'm just telling you the forecast for this area, it's going to go through the roof. Different sections of the Beltline in this area are being completed. New businesses are popping up all the time. Again and beautiful architecture in this area older homes, 100 plus year old homes that if they've been maintained well or renovated tastefully are gonna have a ton of character, much like the Grant Park area. Some of my favorite architectural examples uh, in Atlanta have that I've toured have been on the west side of town. You can still find single family detached homes you know, in the 300s in this area, which is not usually the case for Beltline areas. So for me, this is a great spot, maybe for a younger person, younger couple, younger family, maybe on a slightly lower budget. You really like to be in town, in the mix. You want to enjoy the Beltline. You understand what city living means. I think one of the best financial investments you can make would be purchasing real estate in the West End. And for that reason, it's number three on my list. All right, at number two on my list, I have Morningside Lenox Park. I recently talked about this neighborhood in the video that I did about family-friendly neighborhoods in the Atlanta area. Now, this is probably the most expensive neighborhood that I'm discussing on this list, but for good reason. It's such a tight-knit community. The location is really unbeatable, okay? Not only does it border in some parts Piedmont Park, which is the most popular park in the city, it's absolutely gorgeous. Obviously, the Beltline runs through Piedmont Park, so this is a Beltline neighborhood. You've got the Atlanta Botanical Gardens right there, but you've also got the Morningside Nature Preserve. So you've just got this beautiful setting all around you in this neighborhood. You know, so many incredible green spaces here. The schools are probably the best of any neighborhood on this list. It's an extremely safe neighborhood. As I said, a very tight-knit community. You are not gonna run out of things to do being so close to Midtown and Buckhead. All the retail, all the things you could wanna do are gonna be at your fingertips in addition to the wonderful nature and green spaces that'll be surrounding you. Really pretty architecture in Morningside Lenox Park as well. I often see beautiful examples of Tudor style homes in this area. Now it is expensive. Uh, you're gonna need a budget, you know, probably five, $600,000 plus uh, just for the most basic small move-in ready home here. And of course that can go well into the multiple million dollar range. So maybe not my first recommendation for a younger person or couple that's on a little bit more of a limited budget. This is definitely for uh, someone who's in a point with their lives where you know they can spend on a six, seven, eight, nine hundred thousand dollar home. But really ideal for families. If you've got small kids, you've got a bigger budget. I would definitely look at Morningside Lenox Park. It'd be a fantastic place for a young kid to grow up and a great place to raise a family. So for all those reasons, it's number two on my list. All right, so Avondale Estates, Grant Park, West End. Morningside Lenox Park, but number one on my list of the best neighborhoods in Atlanta, Georgia in 2023 is Doraville. Now, yes, I know Doraville's not technically in the city of Atlanta. Remember, we're staying inside the perimeter. Doraville is to the northeast, just on the border of the perimeter. So for me, it's very much in town. You're still very much in Atlanta. And honestly, you very rarely see Doraville on lists like this. Uh, but for me, I have it at number one 
for a few reasons. Number one, there's incredible value here. This is a place where if you're okay with an attached option, like a townhome, you're okay with like an HOA community, you can get in Doraville in the mid to high $200,000 range. So it makes it accessible for lots of different people. But the biggest reason it's number one on my list has to be the food scene. In my opinion, it's between the Doraville Chambly area and Duluth for the best food areas in the Atlanta area overall. Now, I like ethnic food, I'm biased, I really love Asian food, but you've heard me talk about Buford Highway before. Buford Highway runs through Doraville. Uh, some of the best restaurants are going to be in this area, and not just best high-end restaurants, but the best cheap eats. Okay, you are not gonna run out of fantastic uh, foreign food here, whether it be so many different cultures in Latin America, so many different Asian cultures. You know, there's Chinese, Korean, Japanese, Thai, there's Mexican, Peruvian, Costa Rican, El Salvadorian, all kinds of different cultures are represented on Buford Highway and concentrated in Doraville. So if you're a foodie, you're gonna be in heaven living in Doraville. So extremely affordable, safe, you're on the north side of town, the schools are typically pretty good here. All the adjacent neighborhoods are really high-end and more expensive than Doraville itself. You're on the edge of the perimeter, so if you commute in town, you know, maybe midtown or downtown, it's gonna be a very easy commute for you. If you wanna go to Buckhead, you're gonna be like 10 minutes away, you're adjacent to Brookhaven, which is a very popular area. You're probably 15 to 20 minutes to Midtown. You're probably only 35 to 45 minutes to Hartsfield-Jackson Airport. And if that wasn't enough, there is a ton of development going on in Doraville. There is a film studio currently been announced here. I believe it's called Assembly Studios. So this is gonna be a big hub for people in the film industry. And there's a ton of development, a ton of new buildings, new condominium buildings being built in this area. So the home values here are only going to go up and up. So because of the incredible value in Doraville, because of the amazing food scene, best in class, because of the diversity and the cultures of the people who live here, and because of the proximity to so many other amazing neighborhoods, Doraville is deserving of number one on my list of the five best neighborhoods in Atlanta in 2023. All right, so there you have it, the five best Atlanta neighborhoods in 2023. Now, this is really just an excuse for me to talk about these neighborhoods. There are so many amazing neighborhoods in and around the Atlanta area, so if you didn't hear me talk about a neighborhood that you're interested in, don't worry, it doesn't mean it's not a great place to live. I'm gonna be talking about more and more neighborhoods in the Atlanta area so that you can get familiar with them. Make sure you check out my vlog tour playlist where I actually go and tour some of these neighborhoods, give you, you know, real life footage and talk while I'm in those locations about them. It'll really help you get to know the areas. And of course, if you are looking to move to one of these areas or another Atlanta neighborhood and you need help buying a home, or if you're in the neighborhood you need help selling a home, I'm your guy. I've got a lot of experience doing this. I absolutely love working with viewers who find me on YouTube. So I hope that provided you some value. Hopefully it helped you make some decisions and provided you insight. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Use the description below to reach out to me however you wanna do. And until my next video, I'll see you next time.